Hello, it's Tim from Fairplay now, and I've got a couple more recommendations for you as far as videos to what to concern. Again, they're from Pandemic Podcast, Dan Gregory. I'm really at the risk of really just being kind of a promoter of his or coming across that way, but it just so happens that he's coming out with so much really, really good stuff at the moment and believe you me I do kind of look at a lot of other stuff and recommend a lot of other stuff as well so that'll be coming up in the future but I've really got to give another shout out to Dan at Pandemic Podcast and he's come out with two really good videos in the last few days both to do with psychology now in the first one it's his episode called how governments manipulate human behavior and in that he talks about a book written by a guy called Biderman and in the book he talks about charts of coercion the book was I think written many years ago in the 50s or 60s and he actually sort of looked at how coercion happens and he came out with basically a chart detailing the very various stages kind of what you start with and then as you go down into it further how you just kind of up the kind of coercion stakes and it's all to do with brainwashing and basically getting people to do what you want them to do and I believe the, I think it's the Viet Vietnamese used these techniques in the Vietnam War when they captured uh, American prisoners of war. They kind of subjected them to uh, uh, this kind of type of coercion, all these coercion techniques, and with the view to at least making them docile so they wouldn't kind of try and escape or ideally probably sort of to try and convert these American POWs to communism and that is the aim but in this episode on sort of the uh, pandemic podcast he actually goes through each kind of step of this uh, coercion chart and then he compares it to what's been happening to the population over the last year and the kind of parallels and you know what's going on almost matches this kind of coercion chart exactly it's almost like the government is using it as their kind of playbook to kind of get us all into this sort of state and where we are now so highly highly worthwhile watching but one of the steps in the coercion process is when you've been kind of ratcheting up the pressure, you then kind of ease off a little bit and show a little bit of so-called kindness and uh, you know, kind of sympathy and empathy. But it's only part of the process. And then after that, the coercion then kind of comes back in and the parallel that I can see with that is this whole supposed easing of lockdown that we're uh, going through over the next few weeks and months and that is designed to make us all feel oh, oh so grateful to the government and therefore make it more likely that we'll comply with their demands in the future but then they start rolling back on it. We saw it at Christmas time, you know, the five days of Christmas freedom ended up only being one day in the end. And I didn't watch it last night or yesterday afternoon, whenever it was, but the government kind of broadcast with old Johnson and all the rest of them. Apparently, judging from a couple of videos I've seen going of people going on about that, 
it's all kind of oh we've got to be careful about the way we come out of lockdown or oh, we've got to be very careful and this might happen and that might happen it and it is almost like they're starting to gear up to pull the rug out from under our feet isn't it and and to kind of deny us our escape from lockdown all kind of in line with this chart of coercion but yeah i'll leave a link to that video in the sort of comment section below and in the description box so well worth a look it's really really interesting and the other video again by him dan gregory is mental health and psychology of fear with dr nicola ridgeway it's one of his most recent uh, podcasts and she has some really really good and great advice i basically I don't, again have a look at the video i'll put the link uh, below but watch the video and she really does have some great advice on how people like you and me who haven't been subjected to this sort of uh you know kind of mental torture and brainwashing as much as a lot of people have and she her advice is to be kind to those people uh yeah because the temptation is is if everything does end up coming out as being a sort of a total and utter kind of farce the temptation is to you know go to people we've been talking to and who have been sort of calling us conspiracy theorists and all the rest of it and and kind of start start shouting and screaming at them you know next time i'm sort of calling something out i suggest you blooming well listen you know and she advises against that course of action because these people on this kind of charter coercion that i was talking about is a form of brainwashing it is a form of torture mental torture and you wouldn't kind of go to someone who's been physically tortured and have a go at them uh oh, how could you get yourself into the situation where you allowed yourself to be tortured no you wouldn't have a go at those people so you you shouldn't have a go at people who have been mentally tortured and brainwashed either uh so that's essentially what she's saying but she says a lot more than that i'm just kind of really putting it in brief there so another really really great video to to watch so what i'll do as i say i'll leave the links to both of those videos in the description box and the comment section below and i'll be back with another video very very soon but it's been tim from fair play now thanks for watching yeah, but one thing I'd also just like to add on really, really quickly is I watched a video from a guy called Lee from Veritas Vincent's channel. But he asked the question today in his latest video, how do you think things should change once this is all over? You know, what changes should be made to make sure none of this ever, 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 ever happens again? And what I'd say, and it's kind of the reason why I'm sharing these more of these sort of psychological videos, I think the entire population needs to be trained up into the fact of how easily we can all be psychologically manipulated by sort of nefarious people up to no good. And we need to sort of learn techniques to combat that kind of abuse uh, because there are techniques you can learn to push back on it and recognize it when it happens and for what it is and you just need to be in the know so that kind of just answers my uh that question as far as i'm concerned so just a quick add-on that i thought you might be interested in but yeah we need to be able to sort of resist, learn how to resist psychological manipulation.